Hi everybody, we're in my kitchen again today and William is going to be making his chili. We already started with some ground beef that he's browning up, two pounds worth of ground beef. You could also put, um, you could mix, you know, your uh, ground beef and pork, turkey, whatever you want to put in here, but two pounds of meat. We happen to have just ground beef. Okay, so he's got that going and I chopped up the veggies that are going to go in there, which is one big onion diced or chopped up really fine and then uh, two rather large green peppers chopped as well. Not big hunks, not like we put in the spaghetti sauce but fairly good size because he's going to have this chili sauce simmering on the stove for a couple of hours. Not all day but a couple of hours. So I'm going to let the chef take over the camera here. I'll be filming rather and he's going to be doing the cooking and talking. Okay chef you're on. Okie dokie. I'm going to start off with putting this onion in the first right on top of the hamburger. I normally cook this about four hours. You gotta make adjustments depending on your stove. Okay. Wait a minute. Don't leave me. A couple tried to get away, they didn't make it. Okay, then I'm going to take... The rest of the ingredients are, so far, two cans of Bush's Best Chili Beans, the Pinto Beans with mild chili sauce, two cans okay. of what we have is Goya Red Kidney Beans, and he may use more than the two cans, he says. It just depends on what it all looks like when it's in the pot. He may add another can. And a, I think, yeah, 29 ounce can of Hunt's tomato sauce. All of this is going to be poured in here now too, along with the rest of the vegetables. And I almost forgot three packs of McCormick Chili Original. Or if you want it a little spicy, you can get a different type of pack, but Chili Original Seasoning Packets go in this mix as well. I'm going to start with the two cans of kidney beans. And he kind of drained the beans a little bit. I'm going to put the green. Put the green peppers? Yep. Yeah. I'm going to do the pinto beans. Yeah. And those were also kind of drained. Weren't they drained? Huh? Didn't you drain those a little bit? Yeah, I did. Yeah, all the beans. I think this may be enough beans. Okay. She's getting full. And it's a smaller pot than what he uses for his spaghetti. Now, tomato sauce. The seasoning. That's last. And I did notice that they had different uh, types of seasoning mixes. You could get it really zesty or spicy or whatever. But we don't really like a lot of spice, so we get hot. the mild. Yeah, we don't like it hot, so we get the mild. And 
and these are, like I said, the seasoning packets. So I will list the ingredients in the information box of this video. And because I'm sure that they must show the ingredients of the, of the spice mix on the back of the package. So I'll let you know what it is. Yeah. It says original on it. Oh, ori original. Okay. It's not, um, yeah, it doesn't even really designate it being mild. It's just original. But I know that there were other, you know, um, seasoning packets like hot and mild. Um, yeah. This one does say it's got chili pepper and other spices, including cumin. That's what it says for the spices. Okay, okay. well, I'll add that too in the information box. I will stir this when it starts to bubble up into mix. Right now, it needs to warm up. And so you don't even mix in the spice, uh, the seasoning packets? Well, nothing? I put them on top. Okay. It, they stir better when it's liquefied. Okay. I mean, now it's not liquefied, it's solid. So it won't take long. Okay. All right. So we'll be back to stir it up as it cooks. Yay. And we'll bring it back. But I got to show you this first. I just noticed. That's what I noticed. <laughs> Some of the seasoning packet bit the dust. I like to clean everything up after get it in the pot because it's easier and it gets it out of your work area. So, so you clean as you go. Clean as you go and just freeze up your your area that you need to work. Yeah, I like so, that. So, plus. Use one recycle after they're mm -hmm. rinsed out. Normally I cook this around four hours. It de sometimes it depends on the stove. And we've got this new electric stove and I'm still learning. It's in a secrecy. So I would say at least four hours. <laughs> and if it don't look the way I like it to look, it'll go a little longer. The idiosyncrasies that it has. You, what what number do you have the burner? Two. Okay, that's good. I think it's two. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Cycle. Yep. Then we've got to wipe this down, as you can see. We've got to clean the working area again because mm -hmm. other stuff is coming. Okay? All right. And we'll be back in what, eh, 10, 15 minutes to stir that up a little bit? Well, that, between 15 minutes and a half hour, depending on how it's bubbling. Okay. If it's not bubbling, there's no sense of stirring it. All if right. If it's bubbling, we can. And we'll bring you back. Yay. Take a look at it. Ginger is waiting patiently for the outcome. Yeah. And just to show you, here's the here here's the chili after he's added all the ingredients and he's just letting it simmer for a little bit before stirring it thoroughly. And actually, William, the burner's on one. Do you want to move it up to two? No, look how red that is. Okay, we'll leave it on one then and see how that goes. Okay. We'll bring it back and look to see what it looks like before he starts stirring it. It hasn't started to bubble yet at all. Of course, I have it on a low setting because I cook everything slow. But I'm still doing a little stirring now because it has loosened up a little bit so things can be stirred to get things all up. Of course, Deborah and I, we stir everything frequently anyhow to make everything even. Okay. So back to simmering. Waiting for it to simple. 
Back to simmering. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yep. All right, we'll check Actually, out. Actually, what I could do now is move this up to two, then when it simmers, move it back to one. Okay. I think I'll do that. Maybe one is too low. Okay, let's see what that does. All right, we'll bring it back when we come back to check on it again. Hi, it's time to stir the chili, and it's starting to look pretty good. If you know what chili looks like. Let me come in and take a look at it. Check that out. <laughs> that's, a, that's a container and a half. We can freeze some of that and get a couple meals out of it. Definitely. Looks good. Gotta simmer for a little while till dinner time. We're gonna have this for dinner. So it'll be simmering for a couple hours. Yeah, it's on, it's on a half or one and a half or something like that. But I keep, I don't want it to boil anymore because it'll boil no. down the veggies. Whatever you got it on, so we know. <laughs> it's actually on low. Okay, well low is fine. Now what I will do, just before we get ready to eat, I'll turn it up a little bit higher. Yeah. And just to make sure it's heated throughout. Mm -hmm. Right now, I like the veggies to simmer, chili to simmer. Mm -hmm. Okay, so it'll be simmering for a few more hours until dinner time. Yep. And we'll bring it back. Here we are. And it's chili Sundays. And it looks pretty good. Looks like chili. We'll see if it's a good crop or not. Are you ready? A good what? A good crop. A good crop of chili. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Okay, William's got his bowl ready. There's one scoop down. Oh, yeah. Mm. Oh, yeah. All right. Now, this one's yours. Oh, I thought that was your bowl. My bowl's coming. Oh, okay. And I will put cheese on top of mine. I don't, I like mine straight from the barrel. There we go. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. There we go. There. Now the burner's off. Cool it down a little. Freeze it up. Yeah, freeze the leftovers as well, just like we do spaghetti sauce. Yep. Mm -hmm. Okay, I'm going to add cheese to mine, shredded cheese, and we're going to sit down and have our bowl of chili. Wait a minute, there we go. Some mild cheddar to the top. You can add onions to this, but we've got onions inside, so I just opted not to cut up some more. But we're going to go eat, so hope you're all having a good one out there. You take care. And do what, William? Eat your heart out. Yeah. Yeah. Hi, everybody. I've just come back on here with a little um, PS type of message. Because I had an idea yesterday when William was making his chili. And he was excited about making it. And I, I was excited about filming it, too, because... He was so excited about showing you all how he does his chili. There are a few things that he does well in the, in the kitchen that he, he feels he's mastered and he enjoyed sharing that information with you all. So I started thinking, how about a chili challenge? I'm sure that many of you out there have favorite recipes of your own that you like to fix and like to share with other people too. So let's get together and have hashtag chili challenge and see how that goes. And I have not chosen anybody to be a judge of who might win this, but I think I'll be contacting somebody soon and I'll let you all know about that. And as far as a prize goes, well, you know what? I think a gift certificate from one of the um, home box stores would be a good way to go too. Okay, so I'm thinking of a gift card prize for the winner of hashtag chili challenge and judge to be announced. It won't be me, it won't be William, of course, 
And as a matter of fact, his entry is going to be the first one in the challenge. And uh, we'll see how it goes. I look forward to anybody and everybody participating in this. You know, it, I think it's going to be a lot of fun. I can't wait. We do like our chili in the fall. This is the time of year where they seem to get little competitions going all over. And I do remember living up north that, um, yeah, fixing a nice hot chili for the late fall, early winter months. That was a great time of year for that uh, type of meal. So let's get that going, okay? So think about what chili you'd like to do. Cook it up, film it, let me know when you air it on your, um, on your channel. But be sure and designate it on the information box as being hashtag chili challenge. And on the name of the video, hashtag chili challenge as well so I can it'll flag up for me to pick it up too and add it to the uh, challenge so good luck to everybody I look forward to seeing everybody's recipes and and I wish we did have smell-o-vision and I wish I wish we were able to taste everybody's chili really um, I can imagine some of you like it real hot probably much hotter than we could handle it down here but it's all good isn't it so let's see what happens with this challenge. And I thank you all ahead of time for participating. I'm really anxious and excited to hear about all the different recipes. Oh, by the way, these jars, I picked them up. This morning we went to Home Depot looking for something. William has decided that I need to rearrange my shelving units here in the sewing room, which is where I'm at. I also call this kind of like our vault room because we keep all of our <laughs> goodies in here. Um, it's the sewing room slash sub pantry room. And other people had noticed that the shelving unit with all the canned goods on it seemed to be bowed a little bit. Well, those shelves were bowed to begin with. That's kind of why I got this shelving unit for my brother who used it for his business. And the shelving units needed to be replaced because some of the shelves were bowing. I took it. I've used it in my sewing room for many years. I used to keep my material, my fabric, stashed away on the shelves. Well, now I've changed the... Um, priority of this room and I have sold a lot of my material that I had stashed away for a rainy day and I have now changed these units to be food storage but William saw how bowed these one this one shelf unit was as well and he decided I needed some new shelving units so we picked up a couple of new shelving units we're going to be putting together and also I just happened to find some more jars. Yeah. Pints and quarts. Okay. I couldn't pass it up. I have yet to use them for any canning whatsoever, but I've got a, a little supply of cans, you know, a, a little, a few supplies of jars to go for a while. So I got to get started. That will be in the real near future as well. Stay tuned for that.